Good day, students at home. You are welcome to today's lesson. My name is Mr. Idowu Olajide Tafik. I will be your English language teacher on this program. The topic for today is article writing. Let me say it again, article writing. For us to understand how to write a good article, I will work on the following objectives. 1. The definition of article. 2. Format of a good article. And lastly, how to write a good article. Definition. An article. It is a formal writing which is common in various examination questions. It requires students to write on a prevailing situation or happening. Sometimes, it may swing on problem solving. Students can be asked to write articles on contemporary issues such as COVID-19, kidnapping, insecurity, armed robbery, examination malpractice, domestic violence, corruption, and so on. Note that an article seeks your opinion on critical issues of national or global importance. Before we start on a full scale, let us write this question down. This question will serve as our sample question, which I will use to explain how to write a good article. Now let's put the question down. Write an article for publication in a national newspaper on the high cost of living, suggesting at least three ways in which the government of your country can tackle the problem. The question again, write an article for publication in a national newspaper on the high cost of living, suggesting at least three ways in which the government of your country can tackle the problem. This is WASC June 2019. Before we commence, let me give you the format of a good article. A good article is not a good letter. Don't forget that when you're asked to write article, it does not mean you are writing a letter. Students should know that an article is not a letter and should not be written as a letter. Let us see this format. One, heading of your article. Two, introduction. Three, body or message. Four, conclusion. Five, subscription. Now, let us start with heading of your article. The heading of the article is very important and it is often cast in a headline language. Good headline language must not be so long, at least eight to ten words. Let us look at the qualities of a good heading. One, it should be coined from the question. That means your topic must be from your question. You can't give a topic outside the question. Two, it must not be so long. Three, it can be written in capital letters throughout, e.g. high cost of living in Nigeria and ways of tackling the problem. In this case, you will not underline because all the letters are written in capital letters. Or it can be written in this form, high cost of living in Nigeria and ways of tackling the problem. In this case, only operational or principal words will have their first letters in capitals. You are allowed to underline if you use this style. Next one, your topic must convey the theme of the question. Let's go for the introduction, which is the second one. This is the first paragraph that the candidate will write. It must have the following qualities. One, it must convey the theme of the question. Two, it must be able to arouse the interest of the reader. Three, it must be brief, not more than five to six lines. Four, it must be interesting. Five, it must be captivating. Six, it must attract the attention of the reader.
next aspect is the body of your person, which we can call the message or messages you are willing to pass to your readers. The body of your essay is the major aspect of that particular article. Don't forget that you need to develop your points correctly. For you to develop a good point or a good paragraph, you must first of all, in your first sentence, state your point. Your first sentence must state your point. This will now be followed by explanation of that particular point with examples, instances, references, etc. Then you can mention the consequence or consequences of such particular point or idea. And then lastly, discuss the solution. It is good for you to do this in every paragraph. Mention your point, explain your point, mention the consequences, discuss the solution. Always write your solution immediately after your consequence. Don't write your solution in another paragraph. Let your point and your solution be together. Let's go to the next one, which is the fourth one. That is your conclusion. Let us look at the qualities of a good conclusion. A good conclusion must satisfy the reader. It could be your suggestion or advice or recommendation. You can recommend your solution to the appropriate quarter. Then your conclusion should not be unnecessarily long. And lastly, it should not be the summary of your article. Let's go to the last one, which is your subscription. Now, this is just simply your name and your location. Name of writer and location. For example, John Timitokwe, Lagos, or John Timitokwe, student. This is good if the article is meant for public consumption. If the article is meant for school magazine, then it can be John Timitokwe, senior prefect, or John Timitokwe, SS3B, and so on. Let's go for the marking scheme. That is, a marking, an article, and other forms of composition. The following four aspects are being texted. One, content, which is 10 marks, organization, 10 marks, expression, 10 marks, sorry, expression, 20 marks, mechanical accuracy, 10 marks. The total is 50 marks. Let's start with the content, which is 10 marks. In the content, don't forget, we are checking your points. That means, are your points relevant to the question? So that means the first question is what? Your points must be relevant to the question. Two, all aspects must be discussed. The question I give you as a sample has two sides. And the two aspects must be explained. Let me explain very well. In this question, there are two aspects to the question. The first one is discussion of the high cost of living. And the second one, the ways of tackling the problem. You must write the two aspects for you to have good marks. But where your question is just one-sided, then you don't have any challenge. Next, your point must be convincing enough. And don't forget, do not write less than three points. You can write three to four points. Now, organization, this also 10 marks because this is an article. Therefore, this is not a letter. So there must be no address or addresses. If you include address here, your mark will go down. Actually, under organization, you'll be marked under six in this place. And you will not get more than six marks. So there must be no address or addresses. Your progress must be well developed. Your materials must be logically presented. Your, your heading must be well written. You must have correct subscription, like I have explained earlier. And then you must make sure you write adequate or standard number of words, which is 450 words. Students, you are welcome to the last part of today's topic. And I will teach you now what we call expression. Expression means how the writer expresses himself. That is choice of words. 
the reader expects a formal language because this is a formal writing we expect you to write formal language informal expressions are not allowed now for you to write a good or a formal language or expression please avoid the following one nigeria expressions for example our leaders carry money abroad they can simply be said as our leaders embezzle money pigeon and they go home please this is not a style in english language we don't allow you to write pigeon at all slangs this is very common because our students are exposed to media outfits they're exposed to social media and other aspects and that's why most of them are fond of using slangs please don't ever use slangs in any of your formal writing especially article writing for example dude yeah hi all these are not allowed colloquialism eg and gonna etc we don't allow you to use colloquialism in uh, article writing abbreviation please don't write your school as sch or television as tv or library as l i b e t c write your words in full next one acronym n l s c n t a m p a e t c these are acronyms for example n t a means national television authority please write the names of these institutions in full write your mpa as national port authority contraction please actually we allow you to use contraction in informal letter but it's not allowed in any form of formal letter so don't write can't instead of writing cannot shouldn't instead of writing should not write your verbs in full telephone expression for example most of you will write your as you are how as a u before as b and the letter four all these are not uh, allowed next one don't use abusive expression don't abuse your readers don't abuse your examiner use appropriate language next one use appropriate vocabulary or register or choice of word you must be able to use good choice of word that are related to the topic if you are talking about students then use words related to students another one is you can you are free to use variety of sentence patterns that means long sentences short sentences simple compound etc the next one use a particular style of english you are free to use either british or american english but i would advise you please use british english let's go for mechanical accuracy this tests your grammar now please make sure you write correct spelling correct tenses correct punctuation marks use appropriate articles correct proposition correct concord etc now for today's question you are going to write an article and the question i gave you in the previous part of this lesson will be your sample question write on this article and then you'll be able to test yourself that you have been able to write a very good article the question one more time is write an article for publication in a national newspaper on the high cost of living suggesting at least three ways in which the government of your country can tackle the problem wask june 2018 thank you goodbye